Gum gum no sleep. Just kidding. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Ace here doing his first One Piece manga review, and it's gonna be over 704, the statue of Kairos and Lucy. So, from where I came off, I had to catch up on the manga because I it was a lot of talking during the Punk Hazard uh, scene. And I really didn't like a lot of talking, especially if it becomes pointless and all that. But actually, when I build up the uh, gap of where I had to catch up to where I currently was, the story f fluidly came up to me and pretty much made it really, really interesting. So one piece left off with Lucy, or Luffy, doing a one-hand full-out suplex, knocking out one of the star gladiators at the Coliseum, which I thought was pretty funny. And of course the guard says, hey, are you the one that causes ruckus and declares him get out of the game? And then all of a sudden, Nax comes by and stops the guard saying, uh, and then these three guys, uh, let's see, Sai, Bo, and Don Chinjou, the, the Chinjou family, are actually backing up Lucy, uh, Luffy, saying that, nope, the big guy started it, so leave him as he is. And... The crowds are saying, whoa, whoa, these guys are big namers. What's going on? But of course, uh, I think, what's his name? I don't know, Sai? I think the one through the axe has a bipolar issue. Because first he's like saying, ah, no need to say things. No need to say things. No need to say things. No need. Nope, no need. Oh, thanks. Take it back, you bastard! Yep, definitely bipolar, don't you think? And then all of a sudden... All these other big namers I started popping up, like the Funk Brothers, the Gama, the Fighting King, Isabello the Second, and some of the spec not spectators, the other competitors are saying that these guys are sent from their respective villages or uh, countries to get this uh, metal metal fruit, which is Ace's fire fruit. And I'm still wondering on how is that even possible, but I'll get to that in the end here. Some more people comes up like Next Spring Slayman, Man, Abdola and Jet, uh, the ruler Olumbus. Really, you're just gonna take from Columbus, whatever. And the uh, Don Quixote family endorsement, the uh, Savage Pirate worth over 100 million, Henya Bellamy. If you guys don't remember who Henya Bellamy is, it's the guy that he does a one punch. Uh, Luffy does a one punch knockout. He's the one that has the spring spring fruit or something like that. His legs and arms turn into springs, start jumping, increasing speed. Luffy just like whoosh, knocks him out. Kind of funny, but I'm amazed he's still alive because at the time, uh, Doflamingo wanted him dead because he doesn't want weaklings on his team. And then there's one guy called the Pirate Prince uh, Cavendish. And the rookie from one year ago, Bartolomeo. Bartolomeo. I don't know. But ain't the Kuma's name the same word? Bartolomeo? Bartolomeo. So big namers all around this competition. And apparently the first round is a big survival match. Where in all four blocks, A, B, C, and D, have to compete against each other. And that's like... Let's see, one, four, two, about 130 people per block, if not more or less. Oh man, only four winners to go to the final round or semifinals, technically. And uh, Lucy, or Luffy, is in block C, number 556. Five, so that's a lot more people than we thought. The Mirror Mirror Fruit, I, man, everyone would only want that, right? And so, everyone starts arming up for this whole gladiator competition. Of course, Lucy, uh, Luffy, god damn. It wants to put a whole lot of armor to look better than this one statue that's randomly there. And he looked pretty cool, too. I mean, the last time he put armor like that, he looked like a god. I think that was him, right? I think so. No, I think it was another show. I can't remember. Did he put armor one time? I think I'm thinking about a different show, but anyway. Uh, so all of a sudden, all these girls start falling, fainting, because of the prince that was coming by. Prince Cavendish. Looked like a freaking female with 
a rose. Uh, I, I don't know why One Piece illustrators want to make guys look girly, pretty kind of thing. I mean, oh. And of course, when the captain, the pirate captain, beautiful, uh, was explaining himself, <laughs> Luffy goes up and says, say, hey, I'm ready. Nope, you're overweight. What? And of course, he gets pissed off about that. And then Prince Cavendish is explaining that with the gladiator fight, they're looking for blood, human exposure, the true colors of human. And, you know, that's just like I said. Then he asks Lucy, who he is, he says, That's why Luffy, I'm going to be the Pirate King. Everyone's like, what, 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 what? <laughs> and of course they see the name Lucy, and they still think that's actually correct. Everyone was scared, and then one even mentioned that he was an 8 foot giant. Really? 8 meter giant, my bad. And the prince says that I would have to kill you right now if you were really straw hat Luffy. And then he starts whining about three years ago he was top of the line to over 200 million berry bounty on him and then all of a sudden one year later, one year later after that, the summon at war wiped all of that out. So basically he's whining about his stupid fame disappearing and just whatever. I, I mean seriously, you're gonna be a pain in the ass just because someone takes away your news feed you dumbass and of course Lucy didn't, Luffy didn't care and he just says yeah does it this look good okay that'll be okay and then Luffy started looking at the, the bronze um, the statue that's right there in the middle of the armory wondering who the heck this was and this female gladiator comes up saying that he, rem he was the champion of all heroes uh, he named he remained undefeated for 3,000 battles in all those battles, he only took one hit 20 years ago, and blah blah blah. Of course, there's gonna be a female gladiator here that's almost very exposed. The bra is hanging from the side rather than across, so just move that inside and pop a titty, a nip slip right there. And I have a feeling that uh, that this girl's gonna probably fall in love with Luffy somehow. It's kind of building up to that, regardless. And and so they can't explain why the. Uh, statues there but then no one wants to get rid of it which is kind of funny right yeah but of course this gladiator Rebecca has a reason to be in the Coliseum fight too because she wants to get hold of the mirror mirror ability to defeat Do Flamingo and luckily enough both of them were not in the same block so they both have an equal chance of hitting to the semifinals and it's crazy but then all of a sudden the battle is over! The winner of Block A is the masked man, Mr. Store! And he had a big body. I, I didn't know who he was, but it looks like he was about to pop up his mask. And then all of a sudden, oh damn, guess who it is? And we know this masked man, so we completely agree with his unusual strength. A disturbing review, blah blah blah. The winner is the first fleet captain. Jesus Burgess. Uh, he will send his current children from the four emperors, the Blackbeard Pirates. Yup, it's the champion guy. How the heck? So he is participating? That is unfair. You have a four emperor going for that fruit? That is horrible. So, first question How is a mirror mirror fruit that was once eaten by a person, which was Ace? somehow rebloom itself the logic behind it was when one of those guards told Luffy or whoever I forgot who is how the process is done someone finds the fruit someone eats the fruit someone uses the fruit as the power but once they die the fruit is rebloomed or pops out somewhere in the world once again which I thought was kinda of fishy because for one Doflamingo lies a lot and for something like this, I don't know. Because with the Caesar Clown incident, when they're making their own uh, zone type fruits, they were able to make it, and somehow it was working. I mean, Mononosuke, the little samurai kid, turned to the dragon and turned back when he wants to. Not a hybrid type, probably. And then also uh, Kaido the Beast, one of the four emperors, his whole entire division or I could say his empire is zone type members and using from Caesar Cloud. So this is what makes it really really interesting. So if this process it was in fact true, 
maybe when Blackbeard went under the cape with Whitebeard, he used the devil, his devil fruit of uh, suction, the darkness fruit, yummy yummy fruit, uh, suck the potentially energy from his body before it could go somewhere into the world and bloom up another uh, quick quick fruit. Maybe, who knows? But now this battle got really intense. For one, you got Luffy and Block C. You got Rebecca and Block D, who is really determined to beat this first round. Now you got the Blackbeard Pirate Champion. I forgot his name already. But Blackbeards were hard to deal with, so how is that going to work? It's going to be a big battle. I can't wait to see. But anyway, guys, thank you for being here for my first One Piece manga review of 704, the statue of Kairos and Lucy. And I hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to like sub and like the facebook description in the bottom all right guys thank you for guys for watching i'll see you guys next time later